Bland residents say this weekend's water main break was a nuisance but not a major problem. What I did was I rinsed my dishes off before I boiled the water so that it wouldn't take as much water to actually wash the dishes, which made it a little easier. We stocked up on some water previously, not because of we knew something like this was going to happen, but we, we just tried to prepare for the bad worst, and it worked out for us. But while residents only needed to worry about this, officials have to deal with this. We've been coming in, going through all the um, waterlogged files, pulling them out of the drawers, filing cabinets, uh, box them up in totes and take them to the ba Bland Baptist Church. The water main that broke Friday morning was right under City Hall. The geyser soaked everything inside and spewed mud everywhere. Documents, computers, safes, file cabinets, nothing was spared. Anderson says the building itself can be saved, but it will have to be gutted. Everything inside is considered a total loss. Fortunately, she says it looks like insurance will cover it. The flooring is going to have to be re-poured. Walls are going to have to be redone for mold and, and all that. So yes, the inside will be completely remodeled. Anderson says it is too soon to say what can be salvaged and what cannot. She says redoing the interior will take about six months. For now, Bland officials will work out of the rec room at the First Baptist Church. In Bland, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13 News.